What up, Bam Bam? Welcome back to Kill Hub 702's Adventures and Explorations. Today we're going on a deep adventure. We're going deep underground. So check out some underground caverns. So stay tuned. Let's go. gonna be fun y'all we're gonna head inside right now i'm gonna put the camera down for now until we get inside and we're gonna see what we in for all right guys we're walking in about to go deep underground we go that's kind of cool Lots and lots of history here. It's pretty cool. Now I guess this is gonna be the entrance to the cabin. The elevator is right here. It's pretty cool. That just shows. That's what we did there forever. Oh. On our way down. Here we go. It's like when they back you on an airplane. I know. They make you stand six feet apart, though, you get a ticket. Do you want me over here? Okay, good, af uh, yeah, good afternoon. My name is Reggie. We are descending at this moment. 210 feet, 64 meters, 21 stories. This uh, elevator opened back in 1962. It took about at least 90 cases of dynamite and also two years to install the whole elevator shaft. We're allowed to take pictures, photographs, and also use your phone to take pictures as well. One thing we don't allow is to touch these walls. Why? Because these walls have been here for so many years, thousands of years ago, so we want to protect and preserve these walls for our future generation. Any questions? Going just waiting this area, I'm gonna be picking up another group of okay, oh, Wow, check that out. If this ain't worth it, I don't know what it is. Make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're just getting started. All right, waiting on one more group. We're going to continue down. All right, guys, we're going to continue going in. I'm at the back of the line. I want to be respectful, not film everyone. So it's a little dark right now, but let's go. Like I said, I want to be respectful, stay at the back a little bit. Temperature 56 degrees year round. 
Another cavern that goes down. I know it's a little dark here. Hopefully, it get a little bit lighter with some of these lights. There we go. <coughs> This is nice. Wow, it opens up big time. Check it out. You can eat up there. We've got a restaurant up here. Definitely opens up big time. Just hold on just a second. Let's go ahead and move on. Got the walkway, the restaurant, where we just came from. Oh wow, there's the hotel that Omar stayed at. $800 a night, you can stay in the hotel. You can stay in here? Yeah, there's a hotel right here. You were saying that, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a lot of money. 800 bucks a night. 800 bucks a night. Okay, welcome to Grand Bay Caverns. The story of our Grand Canyon's formation started way back about 345 million years ago. This formation of the whale will start back in the days. It was from these tiny sea animals. In one time, these tiny sea animals, they lived way deep, deep out on the bottom of the ocean. From their shells and skeletons, they created this fine rich deposit. So during the tour, you're going to see so much of uh, limestone and also this look like a snowball called Jimson. I'm going to show you other rock formation like Great Wall Clay, Oxen of Iron, and also the uh, selenite crystal. This side right here is called the Chapel of the Ages, which is two old six uh, feet below the surface, larger known as uh, selenite crystal. Also we call it Chapel of the Ages because this natural arches that we have here on top of the ceiling. Right behind us, this part right here, this is the only site we're going to see these uh, selenite cave onyx and flow stone. These caverns are dry caverns, meaning there's no bats, there's no creatures, there's no a animals, there's no water, there's no stalactites or stalagmite. Instead of that, we have this rare, unique formation, which, which is going to be the uh, gypsum or the uh, snowball. Here, we have these two domes, they're called Cathedral Dome, which is about 90 uh, feet above trail. And one time, these uh, two domes were created for so much of erosion in the water, and also these uh, tiny sea animals. Interesting. Yeah, you're right. Feels, it almost like it feels like an air condition. And I'm gonna start explaining about the air or this oxygen that we breathe at this moment. Okay, this open space right here or random sinkhole. This is an example of what happened back in 19. 27 when Walter Peck discovered these caverns. When he found this cavern main purpose, it was to find gold, diamond, and silver, nothing else. Since he never found what he really wanted, he started these very first tours, and he called these tours Dope on the Road. From above here, he started sending people down with the rope around the wings, and sending them around the Once you're around this cavern, the whole entire cavern was pitch dark and plain, meaning there were no lights, there was no fence, no wall face at all. You were doing your own tours and your, your own explorers by yourself. Sometimes Walter we'll Pay will leave it there for several hours until the next morning. Today, we don't send people down on a rope. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I would go down on a rope. <laughs> The square box right here, all around, this is our restroom. Rest you can see our shower here from here. Also, we have celebrity staying here before, right. like Ozzy Osbourne, Steve O, and Jack Gass, the movie, and also the uh, TV show, The Ghost Adventure. So I'm going to show where they record this episode. You can see this episode either Netflix or YouTube. Hmm. Okay, here we have these two old water wings. They're both 35 feet. And one time they found these water tables. So there's a theory that we might even have a under, underground caverns, but you gotta go at least 200 feet deeper. Today we use these two old waterways for a while and explore tours. These tours are a little bit longer, from two, three hours, and we do provide all the equipment here. I'm gonna explain about these tours as well. do that tonight. Hmm. <laughs> the haunted part of it. Okay, here we have this rare form of silver and crystal called 
Yeah, this is where Omar Gosh TV stayed. You got eight hundred dollars a night. Stay here. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> 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 city, the rare form of selenite crystals. That's pretty. Y'all make sure to check out the next video. We're coming back and doing this in the dark. We're gonna bring some equipment with us. We're gonna see what we can find. Stairs that go all the way up. That's pretty dang cool. Sorry if parts of this video is a little bit dark. And boring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we gotta get to the good part still. This is interesting. It is. This is very interesting. Of all the years, I'm surprised I haven't been here yet. Yeah? Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for an adventure? Mm -hmm. sure to what I tried to bring everyone. That's my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, you do? Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm gonna stay off your camera. <laughs> <laughs> This was once used of the underground bunker, and this is all. Okay, this uh, tunnel right here, this is our second tunnel. It took 40 cases of uh, dynamite, and also it's 160 feet long. And also connects this uh, hall right here. And this hall right here is called the uh, House of Gold Arts and Bar. This hall right here is a good size of uh, two uh, football fields, starting from this corner right here all the way to the uh, other uh, side, which we're heading that direction. Okay, first I'm going to be introducing the uh, wedding uh, chapel. It's served on last wedding, October uh, 26, uh, 2020. So far, we got at least 13 uh, weddings performed here in the last 15 years. These supplies, back in 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis, President John F. Kennedy assigned this area as the underground shelters and food supplies. So, what we got here for our corner, we got boxes of crackers, these uh, beige colored barrels are full of medical supplies. These black barrels are full of water. In this corner, we have all these cases of water. This event happened December of 1962, and it will provide for 2,000 people in case of any emergency, like a natural disaster, chemical warfare, or even earthquakes. The whole entire supply of the coverage will be 60 miles radius, so it's gonna be the small town of Stigman, Arizona, <coughs> the Wallapai Indian uh, Reservation, and also Kingman, Arizona, which is 60 miles away from this location. Do you guys have any questions about this site? Is it expired? No. No. <laughs> Still good. It's going to be a dynamite place to have a wedding. Yes. Uh, the only changes they made here is going to be the update here. It's going to be these uh, uh, cases of water. This is 2011 here. All the rest of the supplies been here since 1962. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a chapel here. You know why? Yep. Right there. Exactly. Go all the way up there. This temperature right here, earlier I heard uh, somebody saying uh, the snare is so cool, right? It is cool. It actually is so natural and also crispy at the same time. I've actually, to be honest, I breathe here better than on top of the surface. And I've been working here for the last uh, two years. Any other further questions? How do you qualify for the 2000? How do you qualify? To be honest, nowadays, so we all, we're all overcrowded in population. So this time it's going to be first come, first serve. Uh -huh. The only, the only mm -hmm. town that's going to be covered is going to be uh, the town, uh, which is the town of uh, Spigman, uh, Arizona. 
The Walpaw Reservation, where more than 2,000 people are living on the reservation at this moment. <clears throat> so today, this is an, an exhibition because this event happened almost uh, 60 years ago, right? Long time ago. I know it's a little dark, but you got all the MREs, food, you got big cases of water. I've been here for a while. The chapel here, all with gold. You can kind of see some of the tools that are in that we used. That's the old food and MREs and stuff. This used to be an old chapel. Very cool, very, very cool. Like I said, Smash that like button. Now, I was going to do the tour where you climb underground. You put knee pads and everything. But I needed more than one person in my group. Unfortunately, I was by myself. So I'll have to come back and do that next time. A little cavern going down, that was pretty deep too. Walk down these stairs. Try to move slow for you guys, I want the camera all shaky. Dang, look, they're still going. Stay tuned for the next video. We get to pull out our paranormal equipment. <laughs> All right, we got some light. We got some light. Okay, welcome to the uh, Snowball Palace. This very unique formation is called Jensen. Uh, people like to call it Snowball. Uh, probably flour, mushrooms, or popcorn, but the original name is uh, Jensen. And sometimes they can use this material to make uh, she rocks or dry rocks for houses. This uh, dark spot right here in front of us in the last 50 uh, years, our uh, That looks our fun right there. Oils, and bacteria. That's where I want to go. So curious about this formation. In order to restore this part right here, it's going to take so many years, maybe thousand years, going to reform again. And why? Because water uh, disappeared a long time ago, so it takes longer more than, than to reform again. On top, uh, you can see some of the uh, spots right here. Uh, instead of using these uh, flash uh, flashlights back in the days, they used these uh, carousels and lanterns. So this uh, lantern, the smoke from the lanterns went up here and, dam and damaged this part right here. The original color is going to be this white blue color. Oh, crystal clear, why? See the difference of uh, this part damage and here clear. A big difference, right? Yeah, yeah still being put back full people taking pictures. First aid kit, right? Look how it opens up. It's just even more stairs. It's the walkway we just came down with those lights are. So we are 21 stories underground. 21. Okay, this uh, cave right here is called the uh, Mystery uh, Room, which is about 318 feet below the surface. 
according to our expert uh, geologist, it goes up and down. So that's what I figured out about this area. And also the low and high pressure above the surface. One more thing about this cave right here. This cave right here serves our mom and explore tours. Uh, these tours are a little bit longer, from two to three hours, and we do provide all the equipment gears. From knee pads, elbow pads, glove, rope, a helmet with the flashlight, and also a tour guide who's going to guide you all the way down. Before they enter this cave right here, they're going to start from, the, from those two old waterways, the 35 feet. From there, they're going to go other areas that we have here in these uh, caverns. Once they enter this cave right here, they're going to go at least 300 to 400 feet uh, below the surface. The more you go forward in this cave right here, the more it's going to get narrow, 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 and never find the ending. On these tours, most of the time, you're going to be rough. Uh, you're going to be crying from rocks and boulders, and even bigger than this. So you're going to be crying, 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 crying. Uh, sometimes you're not going to be able to even to uh, stand up to take a break. Mm -hmm. These tours are available. Anyone interested, you guys can sign in or make reservations. Mm -hmm. I will be scheduling that next, and you will see me crawling through those tunnels. I was going to do it, but I didn't have one, one person. It's a group thing, so I can't just go and buy a ticket for myself. I'm scared. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Going up and up. That's good. That's good exercise. That's good. So, like you said, that's the explorer's cave. We'll be next. Hold on a second. Let everyone go up. Hopefully, this video don't turn out so dark. And we started with the, the dope on the road, which is our, our main entrance, and from there, uh, from, uh, from the, uh, the dope on the road went to this other face, which is the, uh, the staircases, and now we use the uh, elevator. Okay, this uh, modified bobcat, at one time he fell from our main natural uh, entrance, and once he fell here, this leg was broken, so from there on, this leg was forward to the uh, uh, University of Arizona in Tucson for further study and tests. From there, they gave us all the information from 1850 until now. That's 171 years ago. Wow. Over the years, I'm being in these uh, temperature conditions, free bacteria, low humidity. He turned into a modified bobcat or a preserved bobcat, just like those mummies in uh, Egypt and also those mummies in Peru, South America. Here we have an, uh, an example replica so we can show our guests the full body of the bobcat, right? So this is how they look. So I thought that bobcat was pretty cool. That was that food stash.
I know I should have brought one. Like I said, hopefully the video don't come out too dark. Okay, this is a dome right here. It's our highest point from the whole uh, entire uh, cavern. It's 142 feet of our trail. This uh, first uh, break shoulder right here is going to be 92 feet of our trail. From here to the top of the surface, that's another additional 50 feet. 50 feet plus 92 feet total is going to be 142 feet of our trail. Okay, here we have a uh, red wall clay mixed with calcium and minerals. On this side, we have our Jimson flowers mixed with selenite crystal and from the bottom we have our gray cluster all the way to the top Here I'm going to show these snowballs are making a little formation a little by little since there's no water There's something else besides water and I'm going to give you a hint. We do our tours every day No water, but we do our tours every single day. Something else besides water I'll give you guys a look let it clear out real quick Wait, right? Try to be respectful with the camera people that come on these tours all year round, I'm not too sure what's the head count, but we bring so much people. These uh, formations, they form at least three, uh, three and a quarter every uh, 10 years. So imagine 100 years from now. Oh. Let's head on to our next slide, guys. Grab a rope and let's climb. Mm. <laughs> oh, not climbing. Mammoth is still 142 feet above trail, 92 feet to first show. Oh, I would love to do that. I would just love to climb up there. Be a little bit of a long video. Okay, number of 14 out of 50 out of project 1958 to 1962. Uh, during this time, Walter paid laws on these uh, carriage for not paying taxes. So, uh, these brothers uh, took over the business back then, they were known as the uh, Richard Brothers. Today, they're known as the Yellow Pride Trucking. On top of the surface, they drill a hole from there, they start pouring the uh, cement from on top to this box right here, and from here, it was uh, transferred to this wheelbarrow. All the way down where we start our tours, beginning sound lane, all the cement, they did all the entire fencing, the three tunnels, and our elven shaft. Four years and plus only 20 workers. These workers, they work from 10 to 12 hours a day to do this, all this entire project. And believe me, back in the 1950s, they didn't have so much of a equipment or tools. Today, if they would have done, I'm pretty sure they would have done this within six months or even less. Today, we got so much of equipment, tools, machines, and also this uh, technology is so advanced. So believe me, they would have done it within six months or even less. But I'm so uh, thankful for these workers for done, for done that so great, for just such a great job for us. If it wasn't for these uh, 20 workers, I'm pretty sure us, we're probably at this moment standing, right? So let's move forward. I'm going to show you a snake right here. And once up the snake, it broke from our main uh, entrance. Uh, we're just going to be aware of these uh, women's staircases are. So that's pretty cool, a giant wheelbarrow. Falk and, and these uh, dry caravans, they won't survive at all because there's no food of water, and plus they cannot survive these uh, temperature conditions that we have here in these uh, dry caravans. Next, I'm going to show you the coyote in this corner right here.
Oh, there's a suspension bridge up top. Let's climb the rope. <laughs> oh, that would be fun to go up there. Dangerous, but fun. That's pretty cool. You can see the stairs here and the whole suspension bridge. That is pretty cool. The suspension bridge goes all the way across and into there. Another spot that goes up. Well, I didn't even see that. There. Uh, okay, these uh, main uh, stairs before they were installed. Uh, this is what Walter Peg discovered. Uh, this cover in 1927. From above, he started sending people down on this rope. This is the actual 450 feet, and also this is the adult on the rope. From there, you were doing your own tours and your own exposed by yourself. Ten years after 1937, the brothers. With the help of some of the engineers and corporate workers from the Hoover Dam, they came here and helped out to install these uh, staircases. These tours were getting popular, and plus they were having this volume of people going through these staircases. They were charging per person 75 cents. Walter Peck for the dope on the road was only charging 25 cents, so that's the reason he lost his car for not making so much money. 1962, we opened the elevator, and this main entrance has been sealed for good cost and good reasons, and also it's considered like a sacred ground. And I'm gonna tell about this a true story about these ancestor wall pies. Before 1927, a group of ancestor wall pies were nearby this main entrance, cutting wood. When they blocked to go back to Pittsburgh, Arizona, they encountered this cold blizzard winter. Sometimes these blizzards will kill people. Out of this group of wall pies ancestries, two ancestor wall pies died in the caverns. Right away, the rest of the group of ancestor wall pies decided not to take these uh, two ancestors back home because they're carrying this influenza virus. 1918, these ancestor wall pipes were finding the Spanish flu. A hundred years after, look, we're finding the COVID 19. What a coincidence, right? So, from there, to be honest, they let these ancestors die because back in the days there was no such no vaccination whatsoever. So, they died here in the scavens. 1927, when uh, Walter Pig discovered these scavens, he found these two ancestor wall pipes. Right away, he contacted one of our spiritual, uh, spiritual leaders back home. From there, they buried them back again. So from the top of the surface, they're buried 50 feet. This part's completely sealed cement, and also it's considered like a sacred ground. These sensitive wall parts been here since 1800s, 1900s, and was, at one time it's considered part of the, uh, the reservation. Today, we're neighbors. We're only 10 minutes away from the caverns, and also it's considered part of our culture, our heritage. Thank you for listening to these ancestor wall pies. Let's go ahead and talk about this creature right here. These scratches on the walls are related to her. Massive. Right? Prestoric one. <laughs> There's that rope. <laughs> okay, this is a prestoric giant, a slaw bear. And one time when she fell from the top of the surface, her bones were all found here. 95% of her bones were all found here, all scattered around. So they put them all together and sent to the uh, University of Arizona and Tucson for further study and tests. From there, they give us this replica. She's only a baby female, about one to three years old, 15 feet, four inches, and she weighs about 2,000 pounds. When she fell here, she struggled and suffered so much, she was scratching and scratching and scratching this wall many times, never made it to the top of the surface. Eventually, she fell back where they found her bones in this area. Today, how these creatures look, they are the size of a monkey, and they live in Costa Rica, Panama, Central America, deep in the rainforest jungle, and also Brazil. Of South America, which is one of the biggest rainforests in the entire world. 
they move very slow and also they eat leaves from the trees. They're mammals. Uh, 19 hundreds, they found one in Texas. This one was an adult 25 feet and weighed about 3,000 pounds. And one time they saw a giant uh, saw bear, they roam around, especially the southwest of the United States. The last time they lived here on Earth was from 10 to 20,000 years ago, which is going to be our last ice age. They are no longer exist, they're gone forever. <laughs> Okay, uh, sign number 16, uh, the staircases are part of the uh, construction. When you're building these staircases, uh, this is where they found these preserved bones. As we're heading downstairs, please be cautious, take your time, and also use the handrails. Now watch my step. Gino? Did you see your lunch? Oh yeah. All right, good. Gino, that's the man we're going to yeah, see good. tonight. You get that pot pie special? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I believe we'll see Gino later on. I can't believe how much marijuana was in that. <laughs> <laughs> pot pie? Pot pie? Pot pie? So that other two guys, if I'm correct, Gino is the one that'll be doing the walkthrough tonight at the, in the dark. If I'm oh, correct. Are you gonna do the ghost one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's next. Okay, that's uh, yeah, Gino. Gino. Okay. Yeah, he has a lot of ghost stories, man. Oh, I got equipment. You're gonna have fun because he makes those uh, tours uh, fun and exciting, my watch. You got some equipment to bring in too. Yeah, yeah, so. he has everything too. Yeah. He makes those uh, tours good. You hear that? Yep. Check out the next video. Yes, you got it. Yeah, he's he's good, dude. <laughs> He even uh, worked with uh, Robert Williams back in the days. Really? Yeah. He's, that's he's good. that's awesome. Yeah, he's a good uh, tour guy. Actually, he's our lead, lead tour guy. <laughs> so if you guys come, check out Gino. Gino's, <laughs> Gino's yeah. your man. And he's You'll a be... man too. He's doing an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you come and check him out. <laughs> Leave links to this place down in the description. Oh, you're going to put it on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect, man. So get your reservations in. Definitely don't want to miss this. All right, cool. <laughs> You guys want to see me stay in the hotel in here, donate $800. <laughs> Definitely be a cool experience. Yeah, that's actually the channel right there. Oh, where at? Kill Hut 702. Okay, there you go. Okay. YouTube. Wait, after the tour, give me the. I'll do that. Whole info. Yeah. yeah, the whole info. For sure. Cool. And uh, where in Cali or? No, I'm in uh, Pine Top, Arizona. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was originally from Vegas, but I uh, had to get out. Northern Arizona, but that's yeah. yeah, still Northern Arizona. I'm in, up in the White Mountains. Okay. Yeah. I had to get out of the desert. Close to uh, Sedona, right? Or now? Ah, uh, it's like a three-hour drive from okay. Sedona, but I'm actually going there in three days. Are you? I'm doing a six day, 800 miles, 30 locations to film. Oh, that's neat, and, man. And this oh, is yes. my start, so I got 29 more places to film. That's good. Yeah. Good for you, man. That's good. I mean, traveling is full. I'm pretty sure it's fun. I took yeah. a week off of work a year ago just to do it, so, <laughs> yep. It's worth it all. <laughs> okay, the sweetest, one of the 10 most unique and unusual places in the world to see. First, we have this uh, prison cell. 
uh, from Russia. Second, we have this ice castle from Finland, Norway, and Sweden. Us, we're in the third place of the 10 most unique and unusual places in the world to sleep and to stay here for, for one couple is going to be $9.50. Any additional purse is going to be $100. It sounds expensive, but the best thing to do is just gather all your best friends and families, and everyone can at least pitch in $250. Total will be $9.50 or $1,000. Dollars maximum to stay here in our suite. At least six people can stay here in our cabin suite. For some reasons, for uh, liability uh, reasons, they don't allow us to enter the uh, suite. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna go through these stairs and through these uh, swing doors, enter, and then all the way down through the stage. And you can see the whole uh, completion of the uh, cabin suite. Take picture as much as you can. I'm gonna be waiting for you guys on our next site. So this will be the suite that Omar Gosh stayed at. That's where I found out about it the first time. Yep, it looks exactly the same. All right, let's get down here, let everyone else check it out. It's really freaking cool. So, 9.50 a night. Go straight out that sweet door if you want. If you guys want to go further. The TV show, have you guys seen it? Which is Ghost Hunters? Or? The Ghost Adventure. With Zach Bagan, yeah. Yeah, he is. Zach, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yep. It goes to all uh, different places like motels, hotels, uh, caves, or what else? He goes to museums all over the place. He, uh, he has his own uh, museum in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. In Vegas. Yeah. Yep. So when he came here, I think it was about eight or nine years ago, he came here and filmed one of, the, one of their episodes. Yeah. Probably been to about eight of his locations. Right? Yeah. You've been to? Yeah. I heard the one in uh, Vegas is pretty neat. Uh, I want to go check it out. I haven't been to the museum. But... Yeah, I want to. See that museum? I've been to the Clown Motel and all that fun stuff. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Okay, this uh, side right here is called the uh, Paranormal Activities. Uh, this is what the uh, the TV show, The Ghost Adventure, records their episode. If you guys have a chance to see this episode, you're going to see them running uh, from this uh, corner all the way down. During the recording, we turn off all the entire lights from the entire cabin. It's very dark. You can barely see your hands in your face. So during the recording, they felt this fans uh, shaking. At the same time, someone was throwing rocks to the film crew and himself, Zach, which is the host of the Ghost Adventure. When he left, we made a list of all the paranormal activities from our suite, our bunker, our houses, and also our restaurants upstairs. He said there's something here roams around at nighttime. We're not too sure what kind of ghosts. It might be Walter Pig, the giant uh, uh, slob bear, or even these workers. I want to see the workers because they had to deal with so much of uh, cases of uh, dynamite and also these ancestor wall pipes as well. We're going to end our tour. I'm going to show you guys the uh, cabin's grotto. Okay, the cabin's uh, grotto opened in 2017, four years ago when it first opened. It was overwhelmed because of these reservations. So they were open on weekends, Saturday and Sunday from uh, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. PM. The, all you gotta do is uh, once we finish our tour, you go upstairs, check in with the restaurants, and from there, uh, they'll give you the prizes on the meals. And from there, uh, if you guys decided to eat here, you'll, they'll bring you down over here again, and someone from the kitchen will bring your meal, your order meal, right? Pretty, pretty simple. So they don't make the we food done. We wine here too. for the adults, of course, right? Okay, we're gonna be in, uh, ending our tour. This tunnel over here, this is our third uh, main main tunnel. On the sidewalk, you'll see more of this uh, shiny rock, seven nine crystal. And, then, and also it's gonna be our ending of our tour. Thank you so much guys for coming in and our tours. So that would be cool, eat there at the restaurant. They don't prepare the food here, they bring it to you from the restaurant. But they have a way of delivering it so it's not cold. Where do you want to do that? That's fine. Is that okay? Is that okay? So we're coming back to the elevator. 
Smash that like button. Heading back up the elevator. Yeah, they uh, they have more stuff now. And, uh, I think the stock came around uh, 60 to 70 around that time. Yeah. Did you go? I remember the slot in the bobcat. That's the only thing I remember back then. But not the slot. No? See you guys back up top. Can we reach out over here? And then press this button. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, well, sorry about that. No problem. I put it over. Alright, y'all. Hope you enjoyed that. That was freaking awesome. Hopefully, it wasn't too dark. Smash the like button, share it out. Love you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Uh, make sure to check out the next video. We're going to come back and do the ghost tour at night when it's dark. We're going to bring a couple of uh, pieces of equipment, the echo box, the spirit box, maybe a little bit of ghost tube app. And uh, don't miss it. <laughs>